Hey there my fellow jewelry enthusiasts. Welcome to my channel, Memory Lane by Marie, and I'm Marie. You guys, as the title suggests, today I'm going to be doing some jewelry updates from the November issue of the Dollar Bee Box. Now, I usually think of the Dollar Bee Box as kind of like a stash builder, but I've been rethinking it. And what I think I'm going to do is I want to start a video series a monthly video series where I try to use the items from the current Dollar B box as well as probably some of the um, previous items that we've received in a series called Give Me Five. Give Me Five from the Dollar B box. And so my objective is to produce five presentations um, per Dollar B box each month. And so if you think that's the idea, a good idea, let me know in the comments. Second, I want to apologize for my voice today. I'm not sick. However, I do wear contact lenses. And for those of you who wear contact lenses, you know that if something gets on your contact lens, eyes, nose, throat, ears, they're all connected. And so now my nose is giving me issues running a little bit because my eye is irritated but I did want to come on this weekend and share with you guys my idea for my dollar beat box and finally before we get started I really 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 want to thank all of my new subscribers I believe the last time that I was before you I was approaching a hundred subscribers which was exciting in and of itself but since that time I have surpassed 100 subscribers and I am just over 150 subscribers and so I truly appreciate every subscriber every word of encouragement every um, welcome and so it's interesting because when you decide to do something like this you go in preparing yourself for the negative if you will because you want to protect yourself You've been told since you were a child that you can't please all of the people all of the time. And so you have that in your mind as you go forward and you hope for the best. But you know that there's always going to be somebody that you can't please. But I will say, guys, that I am thoroughly touched by the outpouring of encouragement and welcomes that I've been receiving. And so I really want to thank you. Thank you. And thank you again um, for welcoming welcoming me and encouraging me in my channel with that being said let's look at the items from the november dollar b box so first up guys we're looking at this 20 inch necklace with a two inch extender where we used those check glass eight millimeter check glass melon beads with um with silver speckles they were pink with silver speckles if you remember those and we made links out of each of those including those um, Chinese glass laser etched beads here and so these are several of the laser etched beads that we have gotten in previous boxes and I just saved them and I used them all at the same time included in this necklace also is the nine millimeter pewter flower that you see here silver plated pewter flower nine millimeters and so I use them here on either side this part of the necklace here is on beading wire and this portion of the necklace here of course has been made into links and so again we've used the eight millimeter check glass melons we have used the 10 millimeter Chinese glass um, laser etched round beads in the different designs but they are they were all etched Chinese etch, etched glass beads and we used oh also here we used can you see those we used those Chinese star cut crystals here we use them as spacers and so we have those Chinese star cut crystals and full coat silver here at the bottom in the beaded wire portion and so, again, I think this turned out really nice. Let me bring you guys in for a closer look. Again, those etched beads in the differing 
designs. This one here, I believe, is a is an eight millimeter one. So this is an eight millimeter. This one came from a previous box. And then this one here, these here rather are 10 millimeters. And so they've come from previous dollar B boxes. Again, I think that turned out really nicely. Again, it is 20 inches with a two inch extender chain here with the bead embellishment with that last pink melon speckled bead that I had left on a lobster clasp. And again, I think that turned out really nicely. 20 inches, two inch extension. So next up guys, we have here an 18 inch bar necklace using our focal or monthly focal bead of the resin, resin miracle bead here in chartreuse with the gold luster. What I've created here is just your simple bar necklace. I've bookended the chartreuse beads with our check glass pearl and just some crystal, smoky crystal faceted rondelles that I have just for an additional little sparkle here. You can see that Just book ended with these crystals and our and our pearls for a simple bar necklace. I have included or I've added it rather to some chain previous chain previously purchased from Dollar B Box. It is attached to a lobster clasp with a one inch extender and embellishment bead there. Again, I like making these type of necklaces because I do have a teenage daughter and she is not going to wear many of the ornate necklaces that I might make or that I watch being made on YouTube. And so she likes these type of necklaces and a lot of young girls in her age group like these type of low profile necklaces. And so I'm inspired or she inspires me to make um, just simple jewelry pieces like this to kind of reach different age groups with the jewelry that I make. So as a companion to this necklace, I have just created these simple hoop earrings using the same focal focus bead from the month. That would be our resin miracle bead in chartreuse with the gold luster here. I've also added our check glass pearls as well threw in some of those rondelles for a little sparkle and just our staple um, silver silver um, spacer bead here. The medium for these earrings is just your typical uh, memory wire in the two inch diameter. I've strung the beads on there, um, connected the hoops here, added it to our ear wire for a simple yet classic beaded hoop earring. Again, my daughter loves hoops. Um, I don't care what I make. She'll say, yeah, that's pretty, but I wouldn't wear it. And so I, I totally respect that opinion. Um, you can totally think something is nice and gorgeous, but it just may not be your particular style. But these, I'm glad to say, are her style. So she loves this set. And so I think these earrings go nicely with this bar necklace for a nice corrugated set. As a final piece to this set, you guys, I created these um, very dainty stretch bracelets using some of the same creative components from our necklace and our earrings. Again, here are, are our chartreuse with gold luster beads, and here are our check glass pearls. I also used the pewter bells that they sent to us this month to add my little charms to my stretch bracelets. It's one of the ways I really like using the bells, particularly for stretch bracelets, um, because they hide the knot really well, as I said previously. But again, I think these bracelets turned out nicely. They're very dainty. The beads themselves are not that large. I believe they are about four or five millimeters. So the beads themselves are not that large. And the bracelets look nice, uh, really nice stacked together. I think they look 
really pretty um, for, with this coordinated set here using our chartreuse beads. Next up, guys, are my check glass two hole square bracelets. So this was kind of an experiment for me. These bracelets are made using monofilament. I have never really used monofilament before, although I've watched several tutorials where it was used. I like it because of its characteristic stiffness or the stiffness that it creates in the pieces that you make. But here I just used from our November B box, these check glass two hole squares. You see, these are the check glass two hole squares. And in between the check glass two hole squares, I have included um, check glass fire polish beads from the November dollar bead bag. And so if you didn't know, in the November dollar bead box, or with the November dollar bead box, you can add on a dollar bead bag where you get eight strands of check fire polish beads in three and four millimeters. They send you four four different options for each size group. And so you have the four, the four here for the three millimeter and the four here for the four millimeter. And so I added them in between the two whole check glass squares. And when I first saw them, I thought it would be really um, cute and interesting to have them in the bracelet. Here as a closure, I just beaded a loop And then at the other end, I use some of those nice buttons that they offer on the Dollar B Box website. And so uh, when you subscribe to the Dollar B Box, you have the option of going on their site and purchasing additional items for a dollar. And so there was an option on there for a bag or an assorted bag of buttons. And so I really like these buttons. Can you guys see these? I use them as closures on these bracelets here. And so they just fit right through the hoops. Now these in the um, beige opal, which is what I believe I have because mine don't look matte. Can you see that? If my cold camera will cooperate. In the beige, in the beige opal check beads. These came in the box. These were some that I found that I had previously this color here and they're a little bit smaller but yes these buttons came from dollar b box as well so again that was just a little experiment i kind of like it i'm going to go back and try to perfect it but i like them and i think they will look nice stacked maybe not these colors but certainly these colors look nice worn together and I like the idea of a contrasting button, something that kind of sticks out. Again, so these are my glass check two hole square bracelets. Made them using monofilament. Just made a beaded loop to go over the button. It works like that. And I think it looks really cute on whether you wear the button up or you wear it down just like any other closure. I think that came out nicely. I like this little rose button. So the hoop loop just fits right over. Closes like that. This one looks kind of festive with the Christmas colors. So yeah, guys, that's my number three in my Give Me Five Dollar B box subscription. So guys, number four in my Give Me Five series of Dollar Bee Box are these earrings here. These earrings are made with our uh, Magnesite coin and turquoise. We received these two pieces in our Bee Box subscription this month. And I made this pair of earrings with um, some chain dangles. I incorporated those five millimeter check glass um, beads in white opal with the antique gold finish here and here as well as some of them on our dangles and so I think these came out really pretty I also threw in those um, what were they called the 
flower, the pewter flowers. So the pewter silver plated pewter flowers are here. They gave us four that month and I used two of them in my pink melon necklace and the other two are here. That's the thing about the dollar bead box guys. They don't send the beads um, in a particular theme or motif. And so you can just make individual pieces or you can try like I did with my chartreuse um, miracle bead to create a set. And so these are my number four contribution creation for my give me five with the dollar bead box. Again, these are our magnesite coins. They are 17 to 18 millimeter. I just added some chain to the bottom for a nice tassel effect, dangled tassel effect. Added some of those check fire polish, white opal with antique finish at the bottom to coordinate with the two that I added at the top. Here again, our pewter, silver, silver plated pewter flower in nine millimeter, all for a finished pair of gorgeous earrings. I really like those. This was actually the first piece that I made. And so I think those turned out nicely. And finally, number five are these earrings here. I think these turned out nicely as well guys now these use as our focal bead here that was that check glass ammonite this right here check glass ammonite when I first saw it I didn't know what I would do with it because it kind of looks like a shell and I'm not really into nautical themed jewelry but I like the colors I like the gold and the the like the white, the oak, the, the gold wash on it. I thought it was really cute. And so I thought it was a muted, kind of almost like an antique touch. Right? It looks muted and antique. So it's not like a really shiny gold. And so I was like, what can I do with them? And so I added them to some dangles here using our check glass pearls in matte satin white as well as some of those antique copper daisy spacers. You see those here, added those to some antique copper findings and just dropped them off of some ear wire. And I think they turned out very nice. Also one of my favorite pieces from the Give Me Five with my dollar bead box. So again, guys, I think I'm gonna create a monthly series around my dollar bead box subscription called give me five with the dollar bead box and again my objective is to create five presentations um, using those beads instead of just looking at the box as a way to increase my stash and I'm gonna try to stay true to what was given that month but because I've been getting the dollar bead box for a while I have some some items built up and so of course I'll try to incorporate them I will incorporate them as well to um, enhance any piece that I make and so there you have it guys that is my contribution to November's dollar B box if anything in this video appeal to you please consider commenting liking and subscribing I have a, a lot of people who tune in to view and I appreciate that but please consider hitting that subscription button and subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell, bell so that you'll know when I upload something new. Again, I truly appreciate you guys stopping in to see me. Please continue to stop by. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again. You guys have a great day.